Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. Found a really good article on card readers. Something I use all the time, uh, probably not a lot of people use all the time. It is something that is a cheap piece of equipment that you really should use. Uh, the article I found is over at Canon Blogger. They give you three reasons why to use a card reader. I totally agree with all of them. Um, the first one is speed. A card reader is dedicated to doing nothing but reading your card. So they're often faster. You can buy really fast card readers too. You can spend more money on the faster ones and then you can get a really fast uh, download time, uh, which is really uh, helpful if, for instance, you come back from a shoot and you've got five or six cards to download or more. You can often daisy chain them and put all your cards to download at once and then walk away for the night or whatever and come back and everything's all downloaded. Really good reason right there, speed of the download. Second reason, reliability. Um, you want to be able to um, not have anything malfunction while you're doing that. Uh, you also don't want to damage your camera. Uh, the biggest thing I would recommend is not to use your camera as a card reader. Don't plug it in just to download images. Um, those ports wear and tear. It's much cheaper to replace a $20 card reader than it is to have a port that doesn't work anymore on your laptop uh, or on your, uh, on your camera and um, who knows you might end up somehow damaging something else. Um, it's just in a pinch it's okay to use it but as a general rule of thumb for your workflow you should be using a card reader and uh, saving your, um, your camera from that wear and tear um, and the card reader is going to be more reliable too because it's a uh, USB or FireWire device which is drawing its power from the main power of the computer and uh, it doesn't have anything else to do besides just pull that down. So reliability, you're going to find um, less chance of corrupt files or things like that and you're going to put less wear and tear on your computer. So that's kind of a, or on your camera. So that's kind of a double um, reason right there. That's almost reason two and three. And then four is conserving your battery. If um, you're not at a place you can recharge or um, if your battery is getting low anyways, uh, comes back to the reliability thing, you might not get your full set of images downloaded because the battery starts to die out on you. Um, some files might get corrupted because of that. Or if you're out on site and you've only got so many batteries with you and you need to do some downloading to your laptop or your storage device, um, obviously the battery drain is going to be more severe if you're using the camera to do that. If you take the card out, put it in a card reader and download, no drain at all on your battery. So basically that's four reasons, folks. We've got uh, reliability, we've got preserving your camera, not adding wear and tear to it by using it as a, as a, as a, as a menial device when you can use a $20 device instead. Um, you've got uh, speed, the card readers are typically a lot faster. And um, so, you know, with all these issues here, um, it's a kind of a no-brainer to make sure you're using a card reader. Some of the uh, newer computers have card readers built in. I know mine does and I use it all the time and it seems to be just as fast as my uh, external plug-in, my SanDisk card reader. Um, that's probably a whole new thing to look into too for me to test and show you what is faster. Um, basically for me, I'm shooting with 16 gig cards, so it's not really an issue. Um, it's the most I usually have is two full cards. When I come back from a shoot, that's plenty of images. That's a couple thousand images. So unless it's a big, long, multi-day shoot. So anyways, there's your reasons for using a card reader instead of using your camera. And thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some more articles, some more video posts. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks a lot.